Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube walkaround videos. In today's walkaround video, I wanna present you this brand new 2024 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This Porsche just arrived at our dealership. At the time of recording this specific video, this car is actually available from new car inventory, which based on the current marketplace conditions is a very special opportunity as there's very few new 2024 911 GT3 RSs available. There are some terms and conditions regarding the availability, so please contact me directly to confirm the availability, the pricing, and of course the full specifications. And please reach out to me via cell phone or email. My contact information will be in the video description. So in today's walk on video, we're going to highlight the build specifications on this specific car, talk about the details on both the outside and the inside, and of course, talk about the latest generation GT3 RS in general. Introduced in model year 2023 for the US market, this again is a brand new 2024, based on the latest generation Porsche 911, which is the model code 992, the most powerful, most downforce focused 911 GT4S in Porsche history. What an incredible track performance that this car has, but still as a daily driver or road car, still a very nice specification Porsche 911 to drive. Let's start here with the design of the front fascia. Of course, a great blend between design, but also aerodynamics, very special things that Porsche has applied. Looking at the front, we can see a somewhat similar design to a 992 GT3 model. We can see the overall intake even wider as on the 911 GT3 of the 992. Now this vehicle only carries one front place radiator, a very large one, similar to the 911 GT3 R race car with a large front place radiator placed there. And all that air going through the front intake and then exiting here in the front hood. Now you can see these are very large exits. So all that hot air that cooled down the uh, radiator fluid is gonna exit here out of the front hood. In terms of aerodynamics, Porsche had to create these veins to create the uh, airflow going into the right direction. Now this did eliminate the possibility to have a front uh, trunk sp uh, space or storage compartment. But of course, from an aerodynamic standpoint and downforce reasons, this makes sense if they go this extreme with the latest generation 911 GT3 RS. The total downforce number is almost 1900 pounds of downforce at max downforce level, which is an incredible number, especially for a vehicle with license plates on it, just incredible. As you might notice also the front hood made out of carbon fiber, just like the 992 GT3. This one has the optional Weissach package, which com combines here the uh, exposed carbon with the painted the section here. This is shark blue, by the way, a specialty paint for the 911 GT3 RS. The headlights are also upgraded. These are the optional LED matrix design headlights, replacing the standard LED units. Beautiful design, very aggressive also with the inside housing. Also these beautiful little lines on the bottom. Very nice optional headlights. You can also see these air flex on the side and again all aerodynamic purpose so to get flow the air around the outside here of the front bumper and the wheel there's also active front um, downforce wings here in the front bumper by the way not viewable from the outside but those communicate through the electronics of the vehicle with the positioning of the rear wing which we'll talk about a little bit later on but yes active front wing elements in the front bumper which of course from a motorsport perspective is just incredible engineering to be done on a porsche road car the fender is still made out of carbon fiber even larger exit here out of the front fenders than on the 991.2 911 gt 4 s which was produced in 2019 model year now, one of the issues with high-speed driving is there's a lot of turbulent air that gets created in the front wheel wells. This uh, turbulent air creates is a positive pressure inside the wheel wells, and you want to make sure that that air ex uh, escapes as much as possible to make sure that the downforce levels on the front axle stay at the level that you want to be. Incredible engineering, again, aerodynamic and mechanical. Introduced on the 991.1 GT3 RS in model year 2016, and here we have the latest interpretation for the 992 GT3 RS. This one also has the optional magnesium wheels, so even lighter than the lightweight aluminum wheels. That has a different design, by the way, the magnesium wheels. And as you can see, these are painted in satin black. Very nice combination against the shark blue. By the way, this vehicle has not been detailed as it just arrived. And I wanted to share this specific video with you guys as soon as uh, possible. As again, based on the current marketplace conditions, this is a very special opportunity with terms and conditions to buy a brand new 911 GT3 RS. Right behind it, you can also see the carbon ceramic brakes. So this one has the PCCB, the carbon composite brakes, as Porsche calls them, with the brake caliper painted in high gloss black, replacing the standard yellow color. 
Getting here to the sides, we can see also a very different design in terms of how the front fender translates into the design of the door. This makes me think a lot like the 911 GT1, which we had at the end of the 90s. Look how much you can see here of the front tire. And also if you look at, for example, the 911 GT3R or the 911 RSR race car, pure race car, you'll see that from a motorsport perspective, this has amazing aerodynamic benefits. And also the design itself is so cool to have such a motorsport inspired side profile. The door skin is now also made out of, uh, sorry, out of carbon fiber. So normally made out of aluminum on the previous generation, the entire door skin is carbon fiber. Getting here to the back, this used to be the intake system on the 991.2 RSs. And now it's uh, more of an aerodynamic purpose as the actual intake of the engine is on the back here uh, below the rear wing setup. Before we go take a look there, let's take a look here at the carbon fiber roof. So again, this is a Vysak package vehicle, carbon fiber roof. You can also see the aerodynamic purpose here of this middle section which we also had on the previous generation GT3 RS. What we didn't have on the previous generation GT3 RS are these flicks on the roof, which they discovered in the wind tunnel with the hot air exiting out of the front uh, hood system that the hot air does want to go back into the intake system of the engine, which of course we don't want. So Porsche aerodynamically designed these little veins on top of the roof that blocks the hot air to go into the intake. And of course that does make a difference, especially when the engine is being worked very hard. The engine still a 4 liter flat six, naturally aspirated. They did redo the calibration of the software. Also the exhaust system is different on the RS. A little bit more horsepower. Also the transmission, the uh, PDK transmission is re-geared versus the 911 GT3. That's mostly from an uh, engineering standpoint as this vehicle has so much downforce and mechanical grip that of course it's not about top speed on the RS. It's all about lap time, track performance, and but still incredible uh, road car behavior okay so the back wheels are now 21 inches 20 inches in the front 21 inches in the back which we also had on the previous generation rs but now running a 335 rear section tire replacing the 325 that was applicable on the previous generation rs getting here again to the back just like we saw on the front wheel wells also here aerodynamically these gigantic openings on the back you can see the how the rear tire sticks out there of well not sticks out has the uh, opening there on the rear bumper. Just incredible. Also the diffuser, look at the size of this diffuser on the bottom. Beautiful design. Again, aerodynamics, design, recognizable to be a 911, but such a motorsport um, derivative is just incredible. Okay, let's talk about this rear wing. Uh, now an active rear wing, so you can see the actuators here on top of the rear wing. Swan neck design, just like the 992 GT3. The actuators there will open and close this top element of the rear wing. Uh, if anybody ever watched this Formula One racing, those cars have had DRS, drag reduction system now for many years. Now, not every championship of racing allows, of course, a DRS type of system to be used. But in this case, being a road car, yes, it has DRS. An incredible extra aerodynamic element on the straights, of course, with the wing being in an open position as it is. You have less drag, more acceleration, more top speed. And when we need to downforce, these actuators will close the wing for, of course, the extra downforce and grip in the corners. This actually talks to the front uh, uh, system that I mentioned earlier in this video. So incredible how Porsche, from a motorsport perspective, can translate that to a road-going vehicle. This one also has the Weissach RS logo on the side. Now, Weissach, for the people that don't know, is the testing facility, test and development center in Germany that Porsche has been testing their uh, GT products mostly, but also the racing vehicles for many years. You can see the layout there of the test track. And of course, the very cool name now in the Porsche world, Weissach RS. And RS stands for Rennsport. Okay, getting here to the back, you can see also the exclusive design tail lights were optioned on this specific vehicle, replacing the standard units by this full clear lens system. And again, look at the whiff of the new RS at the fenders. I mentioned, of course, many times all these aerodynamic features. And then let's take a look here at the intake system. So close to 520 horsepower from this naturally aspirated flat six with a four liter displacement, incredible horsepower per liter. And of course, at one point, horsepower tends to be irrelevant in terms of track time, as it is all about the mechanical grip, the handling, the suspension setup, just incredible, which we'll talk about the suspension when we get to the inside. Okay, so we covered most of the details on the outside. We also might, might have seen the carbon fiber mirror caps that were optioned on this vehicle, the very large side skirts. Underneath the vehicle are gonna be many aerodynamic features to guide the air in the right direction. And let's have a look on the inside. As I mentioned, carbon fiber door now. Door opening loops still on the RS. 
but very different in design to the 991 RS. As you can see from the carbon fiber being used there on the door handle. This one has the deviated stitching package with blue stitching to match the beautiful outside details. This one also has the lightweight carbon fiber bucket seats. Now those are nowadays available with some different versions in terms of comfort level. There's different padding available. This one is the blue version with the 3D printing. This will also give some ventilation to the actual seat. And that is only used in the driver's seat as that tends to be the one in terms of driving on the track, the, uh, of course, the main seat. Looking at the dashboard itself, again, the vehicle has not been PDI'd. You can see also the air vents have been painted by Porsche in shark blue. The leather steering column casing with blue stitching, the white instrument dial and the white sport chrono clock. We have the carbon fiber side sills, the carbon fiber floor mats even on this car with the blue stitching. It's a very highly appointed vehicle, including also front axle lift system, the Porsche name embossed in the center armrest, the fire extinguisher as a factory option, and also the shark blue seat belts to match the beautiful shark blue outside. Now getting back to the mechanical side of the vehicle, you can see this incredible steering wheel with all the buttons. So the Porsche Active Suspension Management Adjustability, the Porsche Torque Vectoring Adjustability, the different driving modes, and also the different electronic stability control and traction control level. On the go as driving the vehicle on the road or track, can you adjust all those settings, which again, from a racing standpoint, tends to be not allowed in many racing series to be able to change that many things while driving. But again, this is a part race car, part road car, and Porsche has the freedom now to create these amazing motorsport drive technologies to be adjusted on the steering wheel as you drive. Again, this is a brand new GT3 RS. After PDI, pre-delivery inspection, the vehicle has currently 26 miles on the odometer. And as I mentioned, has not been detailed as of yet. Thanks so much for uh, sharing the Porsche passion with me. And thank you so much for watching this longer YouTube video on this incredible brand new 2024 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Finished in shark blue. Let's get another few angles of this spectacular car. Again, please contact me directly regarding availability, pricing and specifications. There are terms and conditions applied to this specific vehicle being a brand new 911 GT3 RS. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.